ஹலோ கைஸ் வணக்கம் அண்ட் வெல்கம் டு மீட்டிர் அகாடமி ஒன் ஆஃப் த லீடிங் அகாடமி இன் ட்ரைனிங் நர்சஸ் இன் தர் காம்பிடேட்டிவ் எக்ஸாம் ஆஸ் வெல் ஆஸ் ஐஎல்ஸ் அண்ட் ஓஇடி ட்ரைனிங் அண்ட் டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் ஃபண்டமெண்டல் ஆஃப் நர்சிங் அண்ட் த டைட்டில் இஸ் பாடி டெம்பரேச்சர் திஸ் வீடியோ வில் கிவ் ஆல் த இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ப்ரீவியஸ்லி ஆஸ்ட் சால்வ்டு கொஸ்டின் ஃப்ரம் த பாடி டெம்பரேச்சர் ஸோ இஃப் யூ சா திஸ் வீடியோ யூ கேன் ஈஸிலி கவர் ஆல் த இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் த பாடி டெம்பரேச்சர் வித் த ரேஷ்னல் ஸோ இட் வில் பி வெரி யூஸ்ஃபுல் ஃபார் யூ ஃபார் ரைட்டிங் அண்ட் கிளியரிங் த எக்ஸாம்ஸ் லெட்ஸ் பிகின் த செஷன் So guys if you like this video please like it share it subscribe it and don't forget to click on the bell icon first question is while taking temperature from rectal root in children thermometer should be inserted about options are 0.5 inch 1 inch 1.5 inch and 2 inch this question asked in bhu nursing officer 2019 as well as rhs bsc nursing entrance exam 2014 and here the correct answer is option b that is 1 inch the rational behind this is while taking temperature from the rectal root the thermometer should be inserted about 0.5 inch in infant 1 inch in children 1.5 inch in adult and keep it in that particular place for at least 5 minutes the next question is A clinical thermometer indicates temperature in degree Fahrenheit from the asked in degree Fahrenheit. So the options given here are 94 to 108 degree Fahrenheit, 96 to 108 degree Fahrenheit, 94 to 110 degree Fahrenheit, 96 to 110 degree Fahrenheit. This question asked in 2014 GMCH nursing competitive exam. This is a direct question and the correct answer is option C, 94 to 110 degree Fahrenheit. The next question is the most reliable method of taking temperature is the options are by rectum by mouth by axilla and none of the above this question asked in GMCH nursing competitive exam 2014 and here the correct answer is option A by rectum the rational behind this is the rectal method of taking temperature is most reliable because the rectum contain a large number of blood supply and also the thermometer probe is not exposed to the external air because it is placed in a closed cavity that's why by rectum method is an accurate and reliable method of taking temperature next question is the nurse knows that the most appropriate method of assessing the temperature of a patient on seizure is the given options are by rectum by oral axilla and none This question asked in 2021 AIMS Jodhpur nursing tutor exam and here the correct answer is option A rectum Next question is which route one used to identify hypothermia in a newborn by rectum by mouth by axilla and none This question asked in Sri Chitra Trivandrum Nursing Competitive Exam 2010 and the correct answer is option A that is rectum see already we discussed the rectum gives the most accurate core body temperature the core body temperature in the sense the temperature of the deep tissues which helps to identify hypothermia as well as hypothermia in the newborn the next question is A hypothermic neonet is air lifted from snowing gulmarg and is admitted in NICU. The attending nurse is asked to record the core temperature. Which area would be most accurate of the core temperature? The given options are oral temperature, tympanic membrane, forehead, skin and axilla. This question asked in AIMS Jodhpur as well as Rishikesh Staff Nurse Exam 2017. and here the correct answer is option b tympanic membrane let's see the rational behind this the core temperature means the body temperature in the deep internal structure for example rectum tympanic membrane etc the tympanic membrane that is the ear canal is an ideal site for measuring the body core temperature because it records the temperature in 1 to 2 seconds and it is also accurate The next question is the temperature recording is lowest underline the word lowest when it is taken from 
rectum, axilla, mouth and vagina. This is the direct question and here the correct answer is option B, axilla. The rationale behind this is, the temperature is recorded lowest by axilla, 97.6 degree Fahrenheit or 36.4 degree centigrade. Highest by rectum, 99.6 degree Fahrenheit or 37.5 degree centigrade. And by oral, 98.6 degree Fahrenheit or 37 degree centigrade. There is 2 degree Fahrenheit difference between axilla to rectum. And oral temperature is 1 degree Fahrenheit. That is 0.5 degree centigrade higher to axilla and 1 degree Fahrenheit lower to rectal temperature. And if you know this rational, you can easily go to the answer option B, axilla, which is the lowest recording in the temperature. The next direct question is, the difference between oral and axillary temperature is, the options are 1.6 degree Celsius, 3 degree Celsius, 1 degree Celsius and 0.6 degree Celsius. This question asked in Ames Bhopal Stoffner's exam 2016. And the correct answer here is option D. 0.6 degree Celsius. Already we discussed about the rationals. The next question is the difference between rectal and oral temperature is the options are 1 degree Fahrenheit, 2 degree Fahrenheit, 0.5 degree Fahrenheit and 1 degree centigrade. This question asked two times in nursing competitive exam that is IGNO BSc nursing entrance exam 2019 and BHU nursing officer exam 2018. Again this is a direct question and the correct answer here is option A 1 degree Fahrenheit. The next question is the oral temperature of a patient is 37 degree centigrade. The following statement is true. The option given here are rectal temperature will be 36.5 degree centigrade, axillary temperature will be 37 degree centigrade, rectal temperature will be 37.5 degree centigrade and axillary temperature will be 38 degree centigrade. And the correct answer here is option C, rectal temperature will be 37.5 degree centigrade. This question asked in GMCH Chandigarh Stoffner's Competitive Exam 2015. The rational behind this is if the oral temperature is 37 degree centigrade and the rectal temperature will be you have to add 0.5 degree centigrade. If you are adding it you will come to a conclusion that is 37.5 degree centigrade. This is how you have to go to the answer that is option C. The next question is to correctly palpate the patient's skin for temperature determination a nurse will use the options or base of the hand fingertips of hand, dorsal surface of hand, palmar surface of hand. This question also asked two times in nursing competitive exam, ESI Delhi Stoffner's exam 2012, also BHS GMC Kanpur Ariana exam 2013. And here the correct answer is option C, dorsal surface of the hand. The rationale behind this is, the dorsal surface that is backside of the hand and finger are used to measure the body surface temperature because it contains more temperature sensitive receptors. Whereas the palmar that is front surface of the fingers is used to assess the texture, shape, size, consistency and pulsations of our body. So that's why I have gone to the answer option C dorsal surface of hand. The next question is how long should a nurse wait after taking cold milk for recording oral temperature? The given options are 5 to 10 minutes, 10 to 20 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes and 30 to 40 minutes. This question asked in 2019 NCL Stoffner's competitive exam as well as Zibmer Stoffner's exam 2013. And here the correct answer is option C. That is 20 to 30 minutes. The nurse should wait for 15 to 30 minutes before taking oral temperature if the patient has consumed hot or cold foods or even drink smoked or chewed the chewing gum. We have to wait for how many minutes? 15 to 30 minutes. If you know this rational, you can easily grab the answer option C that is 20 to 30 minutes. The next question is, which of the following formula is correct for conversion of centigrade to Fahrenheit temperature? 
this is a very common question asked many times in the exams for example 2014 gmch haryana exam and 2007 or psc toughness exam and many other exams also these type of question asked many times and the option given here are f is equal to c into 9 by 5 plus 32 f is equal to c plus 9 by 5 plus 32 f is equal to c minus 9 by 5 plus 32 f is equal to c by 9 by 5 plus 32 this is a direct question because it is a formula and the correct answer here is option a f is equal to c into 9 by 5 plus 32 next question is what is the correct formula for converting Fahrenheit into centigrade? In previous question, we saw centigrade to Fahrenheit. Now, Fahrenheit to centigrade. This question asked in PGA toughness exam 2017. And the correct answer here is option C. That is F minus 32 into 5 by 9. The next question is, a client developed a temperature of 1 or 2 degree Fahrenheit, that is 38.8 degree centigrade, following a open heart surgery. The nurse notifies the physician because elevated temperature indicates the option given here or uh, increase in the cardiac output, cerebral edema, a forerunner of MRH and possible diaphoresis and chilling. This question asked in 2018 BHM nursing officer competitive exam. And here the correct answer is option A an increase in the cardiac output. Why? What is the reason? If the temperature increases more than or equal to 1 or 2 degree Fahrenheit after the heart surgery, you know the cardiac output will be increased. The pulse rate is also increased and the metabolism of our body is also increased. It produces additional heat in our body. So that's why we selected the answer option A an increase in the cardiac output because increase in the cardiac output will cause all these problems. That's why the nurses immediately inform to the physician. Next question is which stage is called fastigium in patient with fever? The given options are initial stage of fever, maximum and constant temperature, temperature slowly becoming normal, temperature fastly becoming normal. This question asked in RUHS BSc Nursing Entrance Exam 2014 or BSc Toughness Exam 2007. Here the correct answer is option B, maximum and constant temperature. Fastigium means maximum and constant temperature. You should know the rationale behind this. If you want to know the rationale, you should know the stages of fever. The first stage is onset, that is rising temperature. The second thing is fastigium, also called as stadium. That is maximum and constant temperature level. And next one is defervescence or decline. See, defervescence in the sense sudden crisis, sudden decrease in temperature. And decline means slowly, that is lysis, decline in the temperature. If you know these stages, usually, easily you can go to the answer option B, maximum and constant temperature. Next question is, the sudden fall of temperature from high to normal within few hours is called. Options are hypothermia, true crisis, lysis, false crisis. This question also asked two times in nursing competitive exam. NPCIL toughness exam 2019, AIMS partner nursing officer exam 2020. And here the correct answer is option B, true crisis. The rationale behind this is, the sudden fall of high temperature to normal within few hours along with their fall in pulse rate and improvement in the patient condition is called true crisis and without improving the general condition fall in the pulse rate of a patient is called as false crisis a gradual fall that is zigzag manner of fever to normal is called as lysis the next question is a type of fever in which the temperature fluctuates more than 2 degree centigrade all above normal during 24 hours period is the given options are intermittent fever remittent fever recurrent fever relapsing fever this question asked in aims partner nursing officer exam 2010 and aims raipur nurse staff nurse exam 2017 and here the correct answer is option b the rational behind this is a pattern of fever that varies more than 2 degrees centigrade Above normal over 24 hours period but does not return to normal is called as remittent fever. That's why we selected the option B.
So here we are ending the session. If you like this video, please like it, share it, subscribe it and don't forget to click on the bell icon. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any doubts anywhere, please drop your message in the drop box. We are always there to help you. Thank you very much.